fake finish. Down, 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 ba-dum, bum. That is CCR 98.7 WFGR. It's Andy O, Dave Cacale, and... Uh, Smells something. The scent of a woman. Blanche is back. It smells like perfume and scotch. It smells like perfume <laughs> and scotch. I'm not into the scotch yet. You've really? been uh, you've been remiss for the last couple yeah, of weeks. Uh, what are you, too cool for us now? Well, you guys didn't, you weren't on air the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, and then, yeah. And then last week I had to be up in Traverse City for the job that pays pays the bills. Oh, yeah. the booze. Right. Pays the booze, yeah. <laughs> yes. Pays for my alcohol habits. Yeah. Oh, so, man. Yeah, well, it's so good I'm, to see you again. It's so nice to see you. I've missed you guys. It's kind of like, uh, I, I'm kind of getting that big chill feeling, though. Oh, really? Yeah, we got a, a friend of ours that uh, passed away oh. earlier this week from school, and uh, her name was Renee DeVos. It was, it was Eisen? Was I her? think it's, I, yeah. Renee Eisen, Eisen was her mm-hmm. married, married name? Yeah. What a, what a loss. Oh, I know. Such a great girl. So, so much fun. It, it, it's just hard to believe that people our age yeah. are now starting to, you know, that, that, see, well, that, I well, mean, no, the occasional accident, a normal thing, this right? Is not, no, yeah. it was an accidental death, and well, it's, it's yeah, it's it's just, I, I've got nothing but good memories about this girl, though. Yeah. Nothing, not a single. Mo- Can you think of anybody that wasn't her friend? She was so nice, and oh my gosh, Dave, she was gorgeous, gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous, yep. and she was so nice. If she wasn't nice, you'd have to hate her. I played yeah. basketball with her, and she was just super sweet. I hated most of the, <laughs> I hated most of the people on my basketball team. You know, I was kind of a freak anyway. Yeah. But um, she was super nice, and uh, it's just it's tragic because you yeah. think, okay, at my age, yes, I have friends. You know, Barb's dad just passed away. Yeah, parents, parents, Barb, parents, you know, parents, going, parents yeah. at this time is what you're expecting, not your cohort, not yeah. your, your, friends, your peer, yeah. your friend. I got a memory. Um, and it's a great one. It's something I'll never forget. When I went, I went to two high schools. I went to West Catholic for right. my freshman and sophomore year. Uh-huh. And then I went to Sparta for my junior and senior year. Well, all the kids at West Catholic as seniors, they all took parenting and... Um, is, it, is it where you take the like egg child. around or the... Yeah, well, you know, back then the they carried bag. around a five-pound bag of yeah. flour. It right. was the parenting class. Yeah, kids okay. are And sex ed and pounds. parenting and all that. And that's what the seniors at West Catholic took. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm assuming that's what everybody takes, right? Senior year, Sparta High School. I'm signing up for parenting and and uh, sex ed class, and I'm I'm the, the only, only guy, guy <laughs> in the whole school that took the class. So wow. I got to go into the classroom. He was which hoping is, to see something. But, well, <laughs> there was a little of that, but I, you know what? I thought honestly that it would be cool to to do what all these cool senior right. kids at West Catholic did. So I take this class. It was me, Renee, and Holly Shogren. Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah. I'm seated <laughs> at the table with them in the home economics room. So here I am, the only guy walking into the home ec room, the only guy in the childbirth and sex, sex ed class. And day one, was it Miss Probst? Oh, I don't know. I, did, I took that class overseas. Yeah. Anyway, day one, <laughs> she comes in with the handouts to talk about, you know, babies uh-huh. and sex ed. The handouts were gigantic pieces of paper. One with a picture of a penis, and the other with a picture of a vagina. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm right in the middle of these two girls. <laughs> Renee looks over at me, and she goes, do you have one of those? <laughs> yeah, but it's remarkably smaller than what you're seeing on the eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Oh, God. Thank you for that, Renee. Oh, she was a doll. Jeez. Yep, she'll be missed. So but hard. you know what? One of those people you got to look back on and remember fondly. She, she wouldn't want absolutely, it anyway. absolutely. Nah, great girl. And uh, you know, funerals tomorrow for all yeah. Sparta peeps. Oh Funeral yeah, tomorrow at eleven. The Sparta announcements here. Yeah, <laughs> I I have to go tonight, which gets you know honestly gets me out of the Christmas party a little early. Yeah, yeah. That's, see that's oh you're that's why. Thank no, God. Just kidding. No, but I mean I can't make it tomorrow. I'm out of town, so yeah. I will yeah. be at the funeral. Well, our thoughts and prayers go out to her kids and her family, absolutely. and uh, a, a sad loss for sure. All right, right. less than news. What do you got? Let's get into it. Of course, it is the uh, Christmas season, and uh, now, Blanche, I know you. You're you're the type of woman who knows what to get her man for Christmas, for birthdays. You put thought into it. You know what we like, what we don't like, because you got you've got a guyish quality to you. Oh, you have a thank you. I I do. I take that as I take that as as I don't look like a man, but I think like one. Anyway, but but (laughs) women for the most part suck at giving gifts. No, you guys just don't. Really? I think in general, uh, moms know what to get gifts for their kids, but when it comes to women getting gifts for their husbands or boyfriends, 
usually they miss the boat. See, I think it's the other way around. I I think I don't have a clue what to get Cindy. Oh, my husband's really? awesome at getting me gifts. No too. idea what to get her. Anything that comes in a little Tiffany blue box of is course. perfect. See, of there course. you go. They're really yeah. easy. <laughs> uh, I get like, yelled at if I buy something too expensive. Really? Oh, yeah. I bought her like a $400 watch a couple years ago. She took it back. <laughs> really? She's like, that, that's just too much. I can't have that. Wow. She's a keeper then. Well, She's not yeah, spending but, money. Right. I love Cindy. I wow. saved so much money. Please keep the watch. No, yeah. cost too much. Anyway, some of the worst presents women get men. Any clothing, especially ties. Yeah. Unfortunately, women pick out clothing that they want to see you in, not clothes that you actually wear. Now, see, this is where I disagree. I need a woman. Okay, you. What do you like to see me in? Since I'm dressing up for you, if right. I got you know, if, I, if you got a girlfriend or a wife at yeah. this point, you know, I don't need to. No, worry I agree because you know well, th- that can actually get flipped. When right. men go to Victoria's Secrets and buy yeah. you something they want to see you in, but it's the most uncomfortable well, yeah, we thing talk, ever. We <laughs> talked about that yesterday. When you, if you're going to get lingerie, you're going to get anything like that, it's got to be comfortable. Realistically, though, how long is it staying on? Yeah. <laughs> It depends. Okay, you you can get over the uncomfort factor for three minutes. Yeah. Grilling equipment. This is the male equivalent of buying a woman a blender. Here, here use true. this the next time you make me some food. Right. Yeah. Next time you throw a piece of meat. This is the other thing. I don't. And, and this. And is not, not every guy grills. Right. I form and grill. I can form and grill like Ugh. the best. My of dad them. doesn't even own a grill. He's terrible at it. Mm. Burns like, everything. Like, but one of the things that isn't on this list, which surprises me, is like. And maybe this is because I'm not like a guy in this way. I don't like to fix things. But like a, a toolbox or a bunch of right. tools. I don't need a wrench. Right. I don't need. I don't need you a can socket go buy set. Buy your own dang wrench. Why? Why would anybody ever want that as a gift? Ooh, Merry Christmas! Here's a wrench. Well, <laughs> I'm too dumb to use a wrench. I don't want that crap. His mom does it. No, can, exactly. My mom. <laughs> can I get Madden 15, please? <laughs> yes, that's a good gift for me. That's right. A watch. 20 years ago, it would have been a great gift. These days, glancing at your phone tells you the time. I still think a watch is a good gift. You know what? I got one for Rich last year because he wanted one, and I got him a really nice one, and he wears it's it. It's cool. It plus, it's cool to do this. I like yeah. to do this move. I look because you always look like you have somewhere else you should be. Mm-hmm. And who, when, what's the international symbol for? What time is it? It's not it's, like, yeah, hold up your phone. Everybody like points to their watch, like wrist. their yeah. wrist. Like, what right. time is it? Little this, kids don't know what the heck you're doing. <laughs> this is the other, th- another thing I don't agree. A DVD set of a TV show. Guys have Netflix and computers. They don't like clutter. DVDs take up space. It doesn't need to be taken up. No, I love I disagree. getting DVD sets, TV shows. Yeah. That's it's a great gift. Unless what? you're on iTunes or something where yeah. you could buy it that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just bought Dexter. Oh, bro, you're gonna love it. I well, I well, I've been watching it. We just didn't watch the last season. Oh, I haven't. Is the last season out on DVD? Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna go. Get well, I don't that know for if it's myself. on DVD, but we got it on iTunes oh, or if it's like on... the Apple TV. Oh, uh, let me just tell you. Okay, I've got every season of The Sopranos. The so last I... five of them aren't even open out of the cellophane. Really? So that's not always such a good gift. Uh, uh, well, it depends okay. on the person. It, it depends, yeah. Exactly. Once again, it depends on the person. I have all the Sopranos, too. A couple's Manny petty. Save the spa okay, days for yourself and your no. friends. I don't think that's a bad gift. I wouldn't mind a spa day. Well, you are kind of metrosexual. Well, no, I like, I've heard good things about pedicures. I've never had a pedicure. Really? I think I might like one. Are your feet gnarly? Should I look no, at them right now? No, my feet are okay. Now, I've yeah. got socks and shoes on. I'm not taking my socks and okay. shoes off right now. But, um, no, I Manny, that's, that would be fine. No, that no. would not be fine. Mm-hmm. No, because... No. Have you ever have you ever gotten Rich a bad gift? I ever? think so. <laughs> what would, like, what's You'd the, have to ask him. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he'd, he'd have to tell you. I guess it's probably something that I bought him and he's never uh, worn before. Yeah. All right. Well, it is, and we got the Christmas party to go to. You, you're going to your other yes. work Christmas party. Yes. A uh, lot of parties going on when you go. You can't show up empty-handed. Bringing booze as a gift shows you're not a complete tool. Here's what booze you bring to the party. If it's a holiday party... Uh, hosted by your boss. Now we're lucky because we're this is an office party right. that's mine too at a locale, so we don't have to worry about that. But it's a nice bottle of wine or a cool selection of craft beer. Mm. I can do that. You can't show up with the, you know a Bud, Bud Light ice. <laughs> you can't but is do it that. a festive bottle? Just kidding. I got Russ a nice six pack of Ice House. Are you serious? He's no. got a ton of wine on his desk. Well, I almost snagged one on the way. Radio, that's what they do. They're all exactly. Dude, We're sales into that building. Is that mine? <laughs> a housewarming party split a liter bottle of liquor with two friends. What? Show, yeah. Are you kidding me? That's it's cheap. A for a housewarming. That's Bring for your, a, no, buy your own bottle. What is it? Depends on. It depends on. How, but still, at least it's tw- it's at least $20. Good bottle okay. of scotch is 60 
I'm not. Bra- I'm not spending sixty. No on scotch. way. What? No you're chance. not getting me that I'm, for no. You're my not Christmas? getting scotch. No. He isn't spending sixty dollars on his kids' Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spend fifty. A pregame party with five to ten close friends show up with a liter of liquor or a twenty-four pack of beer. There you go. There you, and that can be any. If it's if it's with friends, it can be any beer. I recommend the Coors Light. I'd, I'd it's recommend bringing something you can do shots of, fun shots like rum chata and that salted caramel stoli. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> Together? <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's like bliss in a shot glass. Much to the displeasure of her neighbor, Sarah Child's middle finger Christmas display has become a tradition in Denham Springs, Louisiana. For the second year in a row, Sarah has shown up, has thrown up Christmas lights on her rooftop in the shape of a hand flipping the bird. <laughs> She's already had to replace the display after someone cut the lights and extension cords into pieces and scattered the remnants across her lawn, but Sarah didn't sweat it. She quickly replaced the lights with a new middle finger display. <laughs> but get this, she doesn't even live in the house anymore. The house has been empty ever since she and her husband divorced. Probably so. doesn't like the neighbors. I just Mom, think. That's Maybe. hilarious. I love her. I want to be her best friend. Going to a new study, taking pictures screws up your memory. Researchers found that people who took pictures of stuff in a museum were less likely to remember the objects than those who left their cameras at home. It's as if the brain shuts down when a camera's being used. Why well, go through all the effort to remember something if it's being captured forever uh, with a picture? Now, we've all got it on our phone. I mean, it's the same with cell phones, though. I mean, you don't remember numbers either. I think all our memories are pretty much No, I shot. think it's different. I think it's what they're saying is that your mind disengages when you, okay, I'm going to take a picture of that, and then three hours later you're like, I don't remember if I saw that or not. Yeah. Then you go back to your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it right there. I think I think it just disconnects. Finally, something sad and pathetic, once again, involving men. Mm, boy. Uh, well, you know. Men is it their, love of, pink- is it their love of slacks or mani no, pedis? I, I enjoy I Do you like my, what do you think of my slacks? Those are a nice set so of slacks I've got a nice right pair there. of slacks yeah, on. Yeah, I'm going to touch them. Oh, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Men are now paying experts to plan unique ways for them to pop the question. Wedding proposal planners. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. And then help the guy with the details to make sure the event goes off without a hitch. And, of course, this kind of specialized service doesn't come cheap. For example, New York City proposal planner Sarah Peace charges charges up to $10,000 for advice. Ooh, I need to do that. Say, I'm throwing a shingle up today. Heck, yeah. <laughs> I'm Andy God. the wedding planner. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's you not You know how that Rich difficult. proposed? It's not. You know what Rich did? What? Rich can't buy anything without... Um, needing to give it to me immediately. Right. Okay, so it was close to Christmas. Mm-hmm. Instead of proposing at Christmas, he bought the ring. Um, at the time, I was working downtown next mm-hmm. door to you, where at KLQ. And and uh, um, anyway, I got out of work at ten. He paid. He gave five dollars to all the bums to get them to go away <laughs> around the Chris, the Christmas tree area okay. at Monroe Center. And um, uh, he met me at the door, and he's like all nervous and everything. And then he just he walked me over there and he popped the question. How hard was that? Did it was you romantic. Cry? It was sweet. No, I just want to know how big it was. How big is this diamond? I'm just kidding. <laughs> and they say size doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. It does when it's on your finger. The lie perpetuates. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, I mean, he didn't have to pay somebody a ton of money. And it, didn't, yeah. it was romantic. It was sweet. And, and so, it hey, worked. Look, 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 look. look. All right, here's, the, here's the final word. For $10,000, I'll go kick any bum's ass out of the area yeah. for a few minutes. <laughs> you can have all the romance you want, pal. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, only at Toys R Us. Get the Leap Pad 2, Monsters University, or Sophia the First Bundle, just seventy nine ninety nine each. Plus, all LeapFrog Explorer software, just 19 bucks each. Some offers valid in-store only. Exclusions apply. Visit Toys R Us for details. That's less the news on 98.7 WFGR. The lovely Blanche back once again. Thank you so much for your, your uh, injection of estrogen. It's always appreciated. Yes. On a Friday, the Eagles, 98.7 WFGR. It's heartache tonight.